It's going to be great having you over for dinner tonight, Liz. And before I forget, it's very important that you not arrive late. I'll be there on time, but why is it so important I not be late? Because it's rude? No, it's just that if you're late, you probably won't get any food. Maybe even if you're on time. I'm going to start cooking any minute now. We're having roast turkey. <gasps> roast turkey? I want a turkey in a raffle. They're supposed to deliver it any minute now. Dibs on the drumsticks and the rest of it, too. I'll be there. I hope Garfield leaves me the neck. <laughs> she says she hopes you leave her the neck. <gasps> the neck's the best part. She can have an ankle. Sounds like my turkey's here. Wonder how it rang the doorbell. John Arbuckle, I'm Mr. Gizzard, your local poultry specialist. I have a turkey for you. Thanks. Hey, this turkey's alive. Uh, Mr. Gizzard, the turkey, it's alive. So? Well, it's just that I can't, uh, I mean, I can't cook it if, oh, that is. You won a live turkey. I delivered a live turkey. If you don't know what to do with him, it's not my problem. Gobble, gobble. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, a turkey for dinner. I'm having turkey for dinner. Delicious roast turkey dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Sure, you can have some. You can have the other ankle. Mm. Huh? Hi, guys. We're having lasagna for dinner. Lasagna for dinner. I'm having lasagna for dinner. Delicious baked lasagna. L lasagna? <clears throat> huh. Change of menu. If you want roast turkey, it's easy, Garfield. You go put it in the oven. <sighs> well, at least it's fresh. Hmm. My dinner seems to be having lunch. Sorry, Garfield. I don't have the heart to end that little turkey's life, and neither do you. I hate it when John's right. Fortunately, it doesn't happen very often. <sighs> Time for my nap. John being right, how about that? <laughs> But he is right. I couldn't end that. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, uh, Mr. Turkey kind, sir. Hi. I hate to disturb you, but uh, I was wondering if you could do one teensy teensy little thing for me. Yeah. Well, I was just kind of hoping perhaps you could... Oh, I see. How could I put this delicately? Get out of my bed! <laughs> a turkey in my bed. Is there anything I like less than a turkey in my bed? <laughs> yeah. huh? Yes! A turkey in my supper dish. Scram! Get away! Evaporate! Well, I think he's learned his lesson. I don't think he'll cause me any more trouble. Huh? This is my favorite show, Garfield. Mine too, except what I really like are the commercials for burritos. <laughs> You know, a hot turkey sandwich would taste really good right about now. I'll just put him outside. If you're going to sing that loud, fella, you're going to have to be further away. I'm thinking Peru. <laughs> What just happened? Ouch. OK, 
Okay, Turkey. You just became a to-go order. Scrawny, scraggly little neck of yours. Gazunchai. <laughs> Don't tell me you're allergic to feathers, too. That turkey's going to drive us all crazy. I'm going to catch him and take him back to Mr. Gizzard. Oh, this I gotta see. Hey. How hard could it be to catch a turkey? About that hard. I think it's time to leave this to the professionals. I'll be down in the basement. Good job, boy. Fortunately, some of us have a large selection of costumes in our costume trunks. Pirate costume, cowboy suit, cat costume. Why would I ever need this? Ah, turkey costume. <laughs> Apart from a few mashed potatoes and gravy stains, it's perfect. <laughs> Hello, fellow turkey, gobble gobble. Hey, this way, buddy. Gotcha. Don't worry, Garfield. I'll get him back to Mr. Gizzard. Mr. Gizzard, I'd like to return this. Oh! You were very close. Uh, sorry. That's not a turkey. It's a cat in a turkey suit. I'll be right back. I'd like a turkey, please. Do you have one without fur? This time, I have the right turkey. He's cute and all. We just can't keep him around the house. Sure, I'll take him back. Maybe you can find a good home for him. Oh, this ain't a pet store, you know. You... you're not going to... It's what we do here, pal. Hey, wanna let me have him too? <laughs> what I could get for him by the pound. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll just take this one. What are we going to do? I mean, we can't just let him... I'll take care of this or my name isn't Garfield Turkey. Uh, cat. You stay here. I have some knives to sharpen. We're gonna spring you from the joint. Just breathe deep. Gesundheit! <laughs> now then, down to business. <laughs> what are you sneezing about? Are you sick? <laughs> Tell him yes. 
Whoa! This could be turkey pox. He could infect my whole shop. Wait, wait, wait. Take this turkey back. Uh, but you said... You want it, it's yours. Keep it out of my store. Gosh, huh? what do we do now? I had my heart set on having turkey for dinner tonight. And we're going to have that turkey for dinner tonight. Yes! I've been looking forward to this ever since John said he was having a turkey for dinner. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> my special spinach lasagna. You really think the petting zoo will want him, Liz? Sure. The kids there will love him. And now that we've had the turkey here for dinner, maybe we can take him to a movie. More trick or treaters. There's something I don't like about Halloween. Maybe it's giving perfectly good candy away to total strangers instead of me eating it. Trick or treat! Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Here's one for me, and one for me, and one for me. Ooh, peppermint. Now make sure you don't eat all the candy, Garfield. Leave some for the trick-or-treaters. Hey, the bowl's empty. The candy is all gone. Gee, I wonder where it all went. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd better go out and buy some more. <clears throat> First dinner, then you go out and buy some more. More trick-or-treaters! Garfield, get the door! Hey, Georgie! Wash your feet! <laughs> Sorry, all out of candy. Come back next year. Garfield, that's mean. Open the door and give them something we don't need. Here, we don't need this. Huh? Garfield, you can't give Odie away. Oh, the only candy we have left now is this old taffy you didn't eat last Halloween. Don't touch any of it. Hey, don't worry. There's some things in the world even I won't eat, and stale taffy is most of them. Ah, this is the night for free goodies. All I need is a costume. Let's see now. Hey, Odie, what do you think I should go as? Besides an overweight pussycat. The scarier the costume, the more treats you get. Now, let's see, what can I dress as It will be really scary? I'm coming to you live from the zoo, where visitors are flocking to see what may well be the oh. scariest creature ever scariest? out here. He's Catzilla, a rare and near descendant of the prehistoric saber-toothed tiger. Everyone seems very afraid of him. Which might mean they'll give him lots and lots of candy. John won't mind if I use his paint, and the reason he won't mind is he won't know. Where's that toy walrus John won at the Carnival Ring Toss game last year? Mind if I borrow these? Of course you don't. 
You're a toy. Now I need to capture that savage cat look. <laughs> no, no good. If I'm gonna look really mean, I'll have to think of something to make me look really hostile. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty cat. We have no more pepperoni for your pizza. How about some nice raisins? No, more hostile than that. Come on, guy feel. Let's do some aerobic exercises. Then we'll eat nothing but lettuce for a month. Not quite. It's got to be something to make me truly hostile. Hiya, Garfield. Yes, it's me, Normal. I'm coming to live with you, and I'm going to sleep in your bed. <gasps> That's it. Now, to the treats. Hey, let's see what's on the news. Before we go, let's take one last look at Catzilla. We can't get too close to this fierce beast, because where's the fierce beast? Where's Catzilla? Oh, oh. He's gone? <laughs> Catzilla has escaped. <laughs> We better lock the doors. We're not far from the zoo. <laughs> hope they have peanut brittle. Hope they have peanut brittle. Hope, hope, hope. Oh, this is terrible. The beast is loose. Oh, oh, maybe I'd better warn the trick-or-treaters to get inside. Oh, did you see the news? They said... <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, no peanut brittle. Another good haul, but no peanut brittle. Of course I recognized him. It was Catzilla right here on my street. <laughs> what is it with these people? Don't they know how popular peanut brittle is? It was Catzilla. I'm sure of it. I was just watching the TV news report of how he escaped from the zoo. <gasps> Let's see. 23 houses, 23 bowls of candy, total amount of peanut brittle? Zero. Maybe I'll have better luck at the next 23 houses. There he is, right there! Yeah. We have you surrounded! He's making a break for it. After him! Tell everybody what you're up to. <laughs> Hiding place. Hiding place. Let's no sign of him back here. When they catch him, they're gonna ship him off to a zoo in Siberia. Siberia? All they wanted was some peanut brittle. I have to get home. I'll be safe. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. We have reports that Catzilla has been sighted on the west side. He is extremely dangerous, and everyone is warned to watch for him. But I'm Yelp is right. Uh, it's Catzilla! This is John Arbuckle. Catzilla is on my front porch. Hurry! Oh, I'm hey, come on! I'm registered. You can't do that. Take your hands off me. I'm a registered cat. Good work. We'll get him back to the zoo right away. You guys have it all wrong. I'm not Catzilla. I live in there. There. There's Catzilla. See? There. He's sneaking into our house. Whew, that was close. Mm -hmm. Imagine the terror and the danger of having Catzilla in our home. Let me out. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I'm not Catzilla. He's in my house, about to chomp the puppy and that guy who cooks my lasagna. I gotta get out of here. It's open at the top. Maybe if I climb out. I can do it. I can do it. 
Ah! I can't do it. Maybe I can pry the bars open. I give up. I'm not a superhero. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Hey, I'm a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Yoo hoo! Anybody? I shouldn't be in here. Hello? You shouldn't be in there. You're not Catzilla. You're a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. You noticed? Wh where's Catzilla? I know where Catzilla is. And I've got to get home before he goes trick-or-treating with Odie and John as the treats. Care for some fruit, Odie? Gee, you are hungry. Huh? I'll get some more snacks. Where is that light switch? Hey, how come the light switch is all furry? Catzilla! John, Odie, Catzilla's in the house. Oh, you've noticed. Oh. Maybe we can give him something to eat, like John's car or something. Wait, I know. <laughs> Quick, Odie, open up these wrappers of taffy. Here, fella, trick or treat. <laughs> Having trouble chewing, fella? Well, I don't think he'll be biting anyone for a while. There he is. There's Catzilla. Be careful with him, men. I bet you're glad to have him back. Well, we sure are. Ooh, say, it's feeding time. Well, when I'm around, it's always feeding time. But Catzilla has quite an appetite. Each meal, he gets <laughs> ten steaks, ten cans of salmon, a roast beef or two, a dozen lasagnas. And for dessert, and you may think this is odd, his favorite thing, peanut brittle. Oh, it's wonderful. Peanut brittle. Oh, what are we waiting for? It's feeding time. Mind if I uh, join you for dinner, Smiley? cookies, but I definitely could use another snack, or two. Problem is, I'd have to get up and go to the kitchen. <laughs> Odie, huh? fetch me something to eat. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Odie, I don't eat squeaky rubber bones. Uh, nobody does, for that matter. <laughs> Except for you, of course. <laughs> Should I get up and go to the kitchen? 
tough decision. So far, it's been a perfect day. Woke up at 10, had breakfast, took a little nap, had lunch, watched some TV, took a little nap, watched some... Oh! Oh no, it's the end of the world and I'm still hungry. <laughs> what the... Did that really happen? Yeah, everything seems to be all right. Probably some kind of hallucination due to extreme hunger. Let's grab something to eat. <laughs> okay, that's weird. John's checkup. Oh, sure. Uh, he's right over there. What? I came for John's checkup, remember? You called me yesterday and asked me to come take a look at him. <gasps> what is going on around here? Are you all right, Garfield? You look tense. <laughs> Have you been working late on your drawings again? Huh? My drawings? What drawings? Okay, John. Let's take a look at you. You seem to be slightly overweight. I'll probably have to put you on a low-calorie diet. What about dining out tonight, Garfield? There's a new Siamese restaurant downtown supposed to be first class. I managed to book us a table. Uh, restaurant? Yeah, why not? It's a good idea. I have to get out of here. <laughs> Okay, much better, much, much better. I'm fully awake now. It was all a bad dream. Just a bad, bad, very weird dream. Hi, Garfield. Don't forget poker night on Friday. <laughs> huh? Yo, Garfield, my man. Where's your trash? It's collection day. I... <laughs> Crazy world where cats act like humans and humans act like cats. <laughs> Creepy. Maybe if I go back inside, everything will be back to normal. Oh, there you are. I'm finished with John. He is 10 pounds overweight. He will need to follow a diet of boiled rice for two weeks. Why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you going to answer your phone? There are days where I really don't understand you, Garfield. Hello? Uh, yes, just a second. For you, it's your publisher. Huh? Yes? I'm still waiting for your last drawings. If they are not on my desk tomorrow at 4 p.m., I'm tearing up your contract and you can find another publisher. My contract? Does this mean I have to work in order to survive? Yes, dear, like everyone else. Oh, you spend too much time daydreaming, Garfield. Snap out of it. That a cat. Pick me up at eight. Huh? Oh, yeah, the, the uh, Siamese restaurant. What is this horrible world where cats have to work? There's no pulse, Dr. Cagliari. Don't panic, nurse. Sorry, guys. 
As much as I like soap operas, I have to find out what this crazy world is all about. Parallel universes. <laughs> Do they really exist? Or does one only find them in science fiction novels? Who are you? Parallel universes? Controversial physicist Dr. Angus McLoon is here with us to answer that question. Well, Shirley, theoretically, parallel universes could exist. They could probably be accessed through wormholes. I have just invented a device that can prove their existence. That's it. I'm in a parallel universe. I traveled through a wormhole and ended up in a parallel universe, which explains the identical Garfield who was going the other way, probably to my universe. That's fine. But how did I end up here in the first place? What a terrible mishap. What did I do? What did I do? Poor Garfield. Ah! Hey, you're the guy I just saw on TV. G -g 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 Garfield, you're alive. Is that you? Uh, yeah, I guess. At least I hope so. If I weren't me anymore, I'd really miss myself. Because sometimes if I say I'm talking to me, I mean me and my, uh, well. Anyway, you're the Pearl Universe guy, right? Yes, but you already know that since I'm your best friend. You're my best friend? Wow, there's no accounting for taste. Anyway, what if I told you I'm not the Garfield you know and did I come from a parallel universe where humans wait on cats? <gasps> a parallel universe? <laughs> My invention, it worked, it worked! I accessed a parallel universe. I'm a genius, Garfield, a genius! Okay, okay, Doc, settle down. My last meal is about to make a comeback. After you disappeared, I mean, after the other you disappeared, I had to make sure whether or not you, I mean the other you, were really gone. Hence, my presence in this house. Very thoughtful of you, Doc. Now, how about telling me how I ended up here? Fair enough. Let's go to my lab. This is my latest invention, the who. The what? The who. The wormhole opener. This morning, I invited you, I mean the other you, over to my lab to show it to you. This apparatus can open wormholes and detect parallel universes. Nifty. How does it work? Oh, <laughs> it's a very complex operation. You need to throw the switches and hit the buttons in the exact right sequence, and I'm the only one who knows it. The odds of anyone else finding the right sequence are one in a million. Oh, yeah? A month's supply of lasagna that I beat the odds. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> I don't believe it. You did it. When lasagna is at stake, I always win. Get away from the sphere! Oh. Now! Oh no! Stinks. Cats are slaves. They have jobs. They have to wait on humans. It's disgusting. I'm really happy to go home. And your world stinks too. Cats do nothing all day but eat, sleep, and watch TV. It's so boring. I can't wait to go home. Hey, you have drawings to deliver tomorrow. Got it. And you have to pick up Arlene at 8. You're dining out. What did you say? Sweet home. Hmm. Hi, Odie. Good to see you. Turn around. Don't thank me. I said, don't thank me. Some things never change. Garfield, your lasagna's ready. Fresh out of the oven. And that's all right with me. Ah, it's so good to work again. That other world where cats just sit around doing nothing was dreadful. How dare you stand me up? Do you know how hard it is to get a table in that restaurant? There's a six-month waiting list. Restaurant? 
What restaurant? Oh, don't play games with me, Garfield. I am not in the mood. Oh, yes, of course. I, I, I can explain everything. Remember Doc McLoon? Well, he invented a device called the Who, the wormhole opener, and I was accidentally sucked into it and wound up in a parallel world identical to our world, except cats weren't working. Do you really expect me to believe that ridiculous story? Well, the wormhole part, at least. Oh, you're not going to get away with this, Garfield. And that's a promise. You know what? Maybe that other world wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls. We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cruel thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. <laughs> I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <laughs> ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Pasta and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. I'm 
said I gotta find food. Gotta find food. Uh-oh. That was close. Chopper almost spotted me. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in its right mind would bite onto one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh! Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya! Junior, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a warning. What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get some? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. He sure does. Hey, Bernie. Bernie Blowfish. That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. <laughs> Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. <laughs> There's an orange cat running out of air over there. <laughs> Friend of yours, dog? <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> Well, this is a nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. <laughs> Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. <laughs> Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, racetrack. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea Biscuit is off corner of the eight, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian at the rail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. And it's Sea Biscuit, the winner. <laughs> Chopper! That's my brother. It's Chopper. We gotta do something. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fixed.
fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I caught another fish? Chompers heading out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. Barney? At your service. Going up? Whoa. Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. Huh? So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass some mustard, Odie? Folks, do me a favor. Grab your remote control and pause this for a second. Oh. Thanks. Uh, you're probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. What do you think the chances are that cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. 
I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> Well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. <laughs> it's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mmm, <gasps> that cheesecake looks mighty good. <laughs> no, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. I just give me a little more rest. And again. It's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it, in the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small, about the size of a crumb. Garfield! Yikes! I... How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No. Amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not going to make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> hey, this feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up, and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. Mm. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. 
John dropped Liz off at her place, and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home, too. Of course, John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodie was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving a cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Bodie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably going to borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. It was about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy. He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak. Huh? Mm. I didn't. <laughs> The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. Do you understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. It looks like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Uh, yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> I've arranged for the pet control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a uh, 10 lasagna apologies in order. I make that 11.
Gee, I can't believe it's that time of the year again. It seems like it was only yesterday I took down the Christmas decorations. No, actually, it was the day before yesterday. Usually, he gets them down in time for Halloween. Ugh. No, that's not Santa being early. That's my tummy rumbling from lack of food. I heard, I heard, Garfield. The turkey won't be ready for another couple of hours. Another couple of hours. I'll starve. I'll perish. No, I'll starve and then I'll perish. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Oh, what beautiful voices you have. Here, have a delicious cookie. I make them myself. Oh, my. Oh, we got such wonderful goodies when we go door to door singing Christmas carols. The people at the house laughed, gave us figgy pudding. Figgy pudding? I don't even know what it is, but I want it. Hody, it's a Christmas miracle. You can get food for singing. I can sing. <laughs> la, 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 I eat. <laughs> no, you can't come along. I don't want to share the goodies. Hey. I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh. It never fails. Someone always shows up just when I'm trying to wash the floor. <laughs> la la la, la la la, la 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 la. Meow meow, la 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 la. All right, you've been Christmas Carol. Let me have what I deserve. <laughs> Maybe I should have specified the food. Boy, you think that's funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is funny. But watch what happens at the next house. Meow, meow, meow. La, 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 la. Meow, la, 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 la. me to the next house and you'll see it'll be different <laughs> la 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 meow la meow la meow la 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 is that about it <laughs> See? I told you it'd be different. This one didn't use a bucket. <laughs> oh, Garfield. That's the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. Oh, hello. Nermo. You sound like an accordion going through a trash masher. I suppose you could do better, Nermo. With one tonsil tied behind my back? Watch this. Hey, Yodi, want to oh. sing back up for me? <laughs> Another caroling cat? I hope you're better than the last one. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Naturally. Here, here's some prime rib, medium rare, with garlic mashed potatoes, yams, glazed carrots, dinner rolls, and honey butter. Oh, and for dessert, figgy pudding. Figgy pudding? Oh. It's like 
like this, Garfield. You either got it or you don't. I did got it all right. <sighs> and I want to eat it. In keeping with the holiday spirit, could I interest you fellas in sharing some of that yummy food with uh, me? Huh? No. No? Garfield, when have you ever shared your food with us? He's got a point. Wait, I can help you guys with your singing. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh all you want. It doesn't bother me, I don't care. <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> oh, sorry, Garf. It's just that, well, you teaching someone about singing? <laughs> hey, I have a superb singing voice. Just listen. <clears throat> Stop that. My singing is not that bad. Okay, maybe I could use a few lessons. I'll tell you what, Garfield. We'll let you be our vocal coach if you can hit a high C. <laughs> I scoff. A high C for a singer of my talent? That'll be easy. Just give me a sec to warm up here. <clears throat> Here's the secret. To hit high C, you just yank a hair out of your nose. They do this all the time at the Metropolitan Opera. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. I'll be your vocal coach for a share of all the food you collect. I think 10% is fair. 10%? I won't let you take any less. Come on. I'll be your conductor at the next house. <laughs> Let your conductor handle this. No, 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 no. More like this. Meow, 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 meow. Oh. Nice singing there, coach. Uh -huh. It's like this, Garfield. You've either got it or you don't. Come on, Odie. On to the next house. Face it, Garfield. We're adorable, and you're not. I gotta find a way to make myself more adorable. High voices are cute. I just need to sing higher. La, 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 la. No, no, gotta be a little higher. <clears throat> la, 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 la. I'm getting there. La, 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 la. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa. La, 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 whoa. La, 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 la. Oh, making fun of the way I talk, are you, cat? Maybe what I need is... <clears throat> Maybe what I need is to uh, get some backup singers. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's great, Squeak. We're sure to get plenty of handouts. Remember our deal. We get first claim on any cheese. La 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 Excellent. Let me get you a little snack. Maybe a couple of hams. Yeah. Oh, this couldn't be worse. Oh, and to go with them, here's some figgy pudding. 
Ah. It's no use. I'm a flop as a killer. Oh, what a great sound. Too bad I can't hit notes like that. Wait a second. Maybe I can. Want to eat? Must be one of those Christmas miracles you hear so much about. <laughs> well, uh, maybe a few more bites. Huh. 